You've just set up a limited company. Here's what you need to do next. The HMRC, Majesty's Revenues and Customs, are going to send you a letter through the post, your unique taxpayer reference number. Keep this number safe because you'll need it when you produce your company's accounts. It's basically so a number which enables HMRC um, to, to identify your com company. It's a number that's, that's unique to your company. Another important number you're going to receive is from company's house and that's your company's authentication code. This is a six digit alphanumeric um, code which basically is, is required when you submit your accounts and to do things like submit your confirmation statement. More to follow on that uh, later on in the video. You need to take a note of your accounting reference date. This is the date your company's first accounting period ends. It's going to be needed by you to understand when you need to submit your first set of accounts. It's easiest to describe this with an example. Set your company up on the 1st of December 2023. The end of your first accounting period will then therefore be the 31st of December 2024. And then from there, for your second accounting period, it will be from the 1st of January 2025 till the 31st of December 2025. It's after 12 months from incorporating the company, you need to submit your first annual confirmation statement. The annual confirmation statement is, is a form that is sent to company's house to provide any updates um, with regard to the company and to the directors of the company. You're able to submit this yourself online using the company's house uh, website. And it's going to cost you a small fee of £13 to do that. It's really important that you make sure this is done on time as otherwise uh, you will get warnings and notifications from company's house to say it's overdue. Company's house may look strike off your company if if you do not complete your confirmation statement on time the next thing you're gonna to have to do then is gonna, you're gonna to have to submit as a limited company annual statutory accounts and a tax return when you produce your annual statutory accounts they're gonna to have to be submitted uh, firstly to company's house so you'll need to receive a summarized version of your um, annual accounts which just includes um, a balance sheet and some other notes hmrc will require a full set of accounts a, a company tax return and a computation which is basically the ca a calculation which work out, works out the tax return. These accounts are due nine months after the end of your accounting reference period. So if we go back to the example from before then we set up our company on the 1st of December 2023. Our first accounting period will therefore end on the 31st of December 2024 and we're then going to have nine months from that date to submit our first uh, accounts and tax return. So that's going to take us then to the end of September 2025. Assuming we have a taxable profit on our first set of accounts, then we're going to have to pay our corporation tax liability. The amount of tax that you pay will be as per your company tax return, and that tax bill is due nine months and one day after the end of your first accounting period. So in this case, it'll be due on the 1st of October 2025. So just to summarise them, once you set up your company, make sure you take a note of your unique taxpayer reference number and company's house authentication code. They'll be required on your accounts to submit your accounts and your confirmation statement. Make sure you're aware of your accounting accounting reference date. So that's uh, dictated as to when you set up your company. And that's going to tell you when your first set of accounts are due. You've got to submit an annual um, confirmation statement 12 months after you have after you set up your company. You can do this online through Company's House his website. It's going to cost you a £13 fee. You're going to have to produce your own your annual statutory accounts and tax return, and they and different versions of these need to go to Company's House and to HMRC. And then, where applicable, you're going to need to pay your corporation tax liability, which is nine months and one day after the end of your first accounting period. Uh, just one thing to be aware of: uh, your first accounting period, going back to the example we we talked about before, before. It's likely to be longer than 12 months and that's going to mean that you're going to have to produce submit two tax returns rather than just one because the tax return can only cover a period of up to 12 months there's a few different ways why by this around this you can either submit two tax returns or if your company was dormant for the first um, few days of the reporting period then you can tell inform hmrc of this and that will mean then that you only have to submit uh, the one tax return if the period of time that you were trading was less than 12 months. Anyway, I hope this video was useful. If so, please like, comment and subscribe for more.